Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that how we can use different task properties in MS project. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management and you want to learn that how you can use the MS project software. So let's just start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So friend, let's start. Basically, we have entered a very simple task uh, in the MS project like planning, software development, quality assurance, user acceptance and production deployment. So friend, let's assume that you are implementing a software project. So these are the very high level tasks. This is the column of task name where you will enter the task. Okay, so just to save the time, we have already entered few tasks in the uh, in the pro MS project. So these are, this is the column of task name where you will enter the uh, task. Then the next column is the duration. In the duration column, uh, if you click here, so you can increase the duration of a task. Like for example, I can do like that, so it will be increased. You will notice that here in the bar it will increase also you can increase like that okay so you will notice that when I am increasing the duration in the Gantt chart view of the right side it will also this bar is also increasing also you can do like what you can do like you can um, you can do like that as well okay so in that way you can also like that uh, you can do then the next column is the start date start date friend normally is the date from which the task is starting okay and this is the finished date at which the task is finishing um, here remember that you can change the starting date for example this is the 1st August 2022 I can do like I can start it from 2nd of August or 2022 okay so you can change the start date as per your need as per your required requirement and the finish date will also be changed accordingly so uh, the main task here is the friend task name duration start date and the finish date here remember one thing that uh, whatever the dates and duration you are changing the uh, right side bar is also changing like that okay here you can see the Gantt chart view is also changing accordingly. Then uh, friend, a uh, task information. So if you want to ch check, you want to review the task information, right click here. And uh, here's the uh, information is available, right click here. So the task information uh, screen will populate. So this screen tells you the general information about the task. So it is the task name. It this task is not estimated, so that's why it is not clicked. Duration is eight days. Percent complete is zero. Why? Because we have not uh, done any work now till now. Uh, the schedule mod is auto schedule. The start date is second August, and it is finish date is eleventh of August. So this is the very general information about this task. The next task, uh, next uh, tab is the predecessor. Predecessor means friend, the task means the uh, things, the tasks which should have to be completed before this task. Okay. So whenever we talk about predecessor, we are talking about the task which, which should have to be completed before that particular task. Then resources, resources means uh, for example, the task resources, human resources or machine uh, like uh, electronic or uh, hardware resources could also be included here advanced column means that it tells you the uh, deadlines constraints constraints generally means the uh, limitations actually then the task type calendar wbs code etc are there notes notes means friend uh, if you want to put something special uh, something uh, some notes about that particular task you can write it there uh, that particular task any custom field you can also add uh, here so this can also be used 
so these are the um, uh, things like general predecessor resources advanced nodes and custom fields okay uh, the other things uh, other way to get the general information uh, information about the task just double click here and this screen will populate the other option is that uh, click on the task like it is already clicked and here is the option task information you can also get it there here uh, friend also one more, one more important thing that uh, the major uh, fields are task mode right now it is in the automatic mode task name duration start date finish date then the next the, there are few other fields are also like predecessor resource name and also you can add uh, any other field as, as well there, it is a column available add new column like for example I can click on add new column and uh, I can add the column of work so it, uh, it will be added here and you can move it to for example I can move it here uh, if you can okay so in that way you can uh, move the column work here in that position so you can change the position of the uh, newly added column here as well if you need so so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends